Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna actually be making custom portals in Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft. Like no mods, no nothing, just normal Minecraft. By the way, this is Java edition Minecraft. If you're going to be doing it on bedrock, I don't know 100% if it will work. And this is just a little thing I tried out. It didn't work. So, so here's the command. So here's how to do it and how it works. So you don't have to break out four blocks, but I'm gonna be doing it for the demonstration. So if you're on one side, you place this first command block, which execute, which is, says execute if block, execute if, execute if block, squiggle, space squiggle two, minecraft dot dot colon fire, run, fill, Squiggle, space, squiggle, two, space, squiggle, space. And then... Space, squiggle, space, squiggle, four, space, squiggle, one. I, this, whatever I'm saying in this squiggle part here may or may not be correct. So please recheck that with this photo with this area here that you got it correct minecraft nether portal curve axis and then whatever axis you're whatever axis you're looking at which right now i'm looking at z axis done now we're going to be using a second command block in this, everything the same, but in front of that one there, there's a minus. Because, because if you put your thing up here, boom, it will exit, put it there. But, but then if you have the same in that command block, it will put it from, from that command block there to that command block there. You don't want that. Also, these are always active for it to work. So, so boom, boom. It works perfectly. And if you want it to not pop up in chat, like, like it does every time I light the portal, successfully filled six blocks is what it should say. Then if you don't want it to pop up like that, you can do slash slash game rule game rule slash game rule <coughs> command block output <coughs> false now that will make it so that the command blocks don't output a feedback thing like every time oh and it should look like another portal's lighting up because it still has that fire for like a second when an actual nether portal lights up. And yes, there is a wandering trader there, which sometimes they get a bit annoying in videos, as you can probably see from YouTube. So now it's time to build the actual portal. You can get from your, you can get from your inventory any block you want. Any block that you're able to light on fire. Because if, if it isn't, can you, uh, if it isn't able to get lit on fire, then it won't work. Then it won't work, of course. Because you need to light a fire there. Of course you could make an obsidian portal, but then that would be useless, so 
I'm going to be doing something I saw in a different video where it didn't work for him. I'm going to be showing how he probably did, how the guy pulled it out without mods. If he did it without mods. Uh, so it w so go out by one block there and there go up by three block go up by four blocks on those blocks then one in one in there should be at least three blocks up and one block to the side like that and then uh, just a second I'm gonna do something. Uh, this is not part of it. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of every mob that isn't a that isn't a player because players are still considered as mobs. So, yeah. Once you have that down, and it will look like the, act, the portal's actually getting lit up when you light it with flint and steel. It will have a bit more delay on servers, but it will still work. It will look less real, but it will still work. Now, whatever. Now you can decorate this portal in whatever way you want. But I don't need to do that, so I'm not going to do that. So then you can light up your portal, walk through it. And on your other side, you can do whatever. You can decorate it to make it look like one side. You can decorate it to make it look like one side, whatever, the other side, whatever, on, in my case. It, one side would be one side would be amethyst and the other side would be the other side would be dripstone because it's an amethyst dripstone portal but in your case it might be like a diamond portal then you can make like a fully diamond dimension or it might be a or it might be a whatever other type of portal you want this is just a way how to get other portals without using mods or going to an april fools update that i know about so in the comments or in your mind don't say but there's an a hey hey back place but there's a there's a april fools update that adds that that adds custom portals of course there is uh, i'm going to go there in a quick transition here's your you should be here at your minecraft play screen in the top corner, there should be something that says play, installation, skins, and patch notes. So, tap, of course you will want to tap installations. Then, tap new installation, and scroll down until you see something that says 21, 21, until you see the version that is 20 W14 infinite. Then tap, then tap create, which would be in the bottom corner here. What? In the bottom corner here, create. You tap create, and then scroll down to the bottom where I should say 21 W. 21 20 w14 infinite not 21 w14 infinite 20 w14 infinite i'm sorry if i keep saying 
21 W14 implement because it gets stuck in my head. So tap play. It might pop up with something that says this this version isn't tested or something like that or it's unstable because it's a later version. It or or it might say it might crash, but nope. Not for me. That that popped up earlier when I got the installation. So, technically, yes, I am hitting you with a bonus fact. Because, why not? It's a video. Why not? So, it is not responding, actually. So, I'm gonna go into a quick detour. Sorry about this detour. This is an overlay with voice. The, it might have crashed because of technical difficulties, which sometimes happen. So sorry about the experience of the black screen. I just have to fix this moment as quick as I can. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully I can fix it. Even though I know I can. Okay, so we're back at the loading screen and it doesn't matter what it says at the top corner. I just thought I'd show you. Single player. You should have no worlds. This is normal. Don't freak out and be like, hey, I got no worlds, I got no worlds. It, it didn't delete any of the worlds. Create a new world and then tap that new world and play it. So, when you load in, as you might see in my inventory, there are a few weird blocks and stuff like that. There is footprint, very a very fine item. Swaggiest stairs ever, and a cursor. So all you have to do to get it in your inventory is for the swaggiest uh, For the cursor block, you can just search it up. And for the swaggiest dares ever, you can also just search it up. But for the other two, you need to create a dimension. Which for this, you might not know what to do. First, you'll want to get a book and quill. When you get that book and quill, you want to write you want to write to get the footprint item missing so just a second just a second alexa how do you spell missing alexa how do you spell missing for that's for any of you who don't know how to spell missing. So, tap done and throw it through. And you might want to take a, another, get another book and quill. Throw it through the portal and it should change colors and change particles. Jump through the portal and uh, just a second we spawned in the wrong spot which i didn't know that was possible usually your portal will spawn in here and you'll be greeted here where there will be two iron golems that can't move you walk past them. There should be some swaggiest stairs ever if you really want them. 
for any reason. A bunch of gold blocks to make a beacon. Three beacons and a chest. Inside that chest, there'd be a footprint item. Grab the footprint item. And of course, I've already took it out and then go th back through the portal, which in my case, the portal spawned in the wrong area. For the next area, you have to spell isolation in your book. Which I think this is how you spell isolation. You throw it in, it should change. Go in the portal, and of course you will be, oh, this is, no, this is the incorrect. I'm sorry for the difficulties. I must have spelt isolation wrong. Sorry, I didn't know. Alexa, how do you spell isolation? So in so the only thing I got wrong was the C. Wrong. The only thing I got wrong was the C. You should spawn in a big dirt area, and there should be a villager house over somewhere over here. Boom, villager house. Uh, engine. I don't know what that means. Uh, I do know what that means. It means go away. Uh, but that doesn't mean go away from this video. Uh, so there is no outside door. So you'll have to walk through the gate. And then you'll be meted with three dots. One that says Bob's dog, Bob's other dog, and their cousin Jim. Upstairs, there should be something that says home sweet home. This footprint item wouldn't be there, just I thought I'd put it there. And then there's a downstairs. Three trapped chests and a few weird books. Uh yeah i think this is just a different dimension so up here so in if you go in the yard and go dig down here there should be a chest here and then it should have a sword in it and a bunch of rotten flesh and bones this may this i'm gonna let you explore for yourself so yeah and also yes it's a trapped chest but no traps goes off goes off so that was my me showing you all the dimensions so hopefully you had a good video and goodbye